Welcome to Hong Kong's Victoria Harbour and the Guinness World Records winning A Symphony of Lights. The world's largest permanent light and sound show, showcasing Hong Kong's spirit and energy. We will take you on a journey of awakening and discovery across the harbour to reveal the beauty and magnificence of Asia's world city. A city that celebrates light and life.
It is known to all that Beijing, the great capital of the People's Republic of China, is where the bright colored five-starred red flag, the national flag of the People's Republic of China, rose. Shanghai, the eastern pearl and the metropolis of the world, is where the flag of the Chinese Communist Party rose. The heroic and rapidly rising Nanchang, which is attracting worldwide attention, is the birthplace of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. Comrade Zhang Zemin wrote the inscription himself. This is the sacred place where the army flag rose. Nanchang, also named Hongdu, established in 202 BC with a history of over 2,200 years, covers four outlying counties and six districts with an area of 7,402 square kilometers and a population of 4.48 million. Nanchang is the only provincial capital on the Beijing Kowloon Railway Artery of China, the confluence of the Yangtze River Delta, the Zhujiang River Delta, and the Southeastern Economic Development Zone of Fujian Province, and the important place connecting the East China and West China, South China and North China. The National Highways 105, 320, and 316 meet in Nanchang. The modernized North Nanchang International Airport has opened over 30 airlines. It is about an hour's flight from Nanchang to Hong Kong, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. Nanchang has a rich deposit of historical culture. The world-famous and ornate and unique Tung Wang Pavilion is one of the three famous pavilions in the south of the Yangtze River. The eternal famous Preface to the Tung Wang Pavilion, written by Wang Bo, has become one of the classics in the treasure house of Chinese literature. Bada Shanren Museum is a palace of painting and calligraphic art. Bada Shanren's painting and calligraphic works collected here are known as national treasure of China. Xishan, Longevity Palace, the holy land of the Taoists, is the place where Xu Sun, a Taoist master of great learning and integrity, launched a battle with his sword against the flood dragon. The ancient Shengjin Pagoda has been renovated in recent years and the buildings are simple and elegant. The place has become the golden site of tour, holidays and business. Now Nanchang people are focusing on the two projects. One is to build Nanchang into a modern regional economic center and the other is to build heroic Nanchang into a civilized garden-like city. They are firmly establishing the scientific development values and making efforts to turn Nanchang into an important base of modern manufacture, grasping the opportunities of opening-oriented economic development and market-oriented reform. Moreover, they are following the working principles of opening up to the outside world, continuing the reform, accelerating the urbanization, stabilizing the security guarantee and coordinating the overall development pushing forward Nanchang's rapid, coordinated and sustainable social and economic development and realizing her speedy rise. Today, Nanchang is attracting the world with her unique charm, brilliance, spirit and image. The vast Qingshan Lake has been harnessed, the 100,000 square meter lakeside park, the Xiang Silin Dating Park and the Yenming Island Park here have become pro-water paradise, holiday paradise and entertainment paradise. In the Xianghu Lake, one may see blue ripples, weeping willows, snaking arch bridge, and refined pavilions like a beautiful scenic picture. The past 12 kilometer stinking ditch in East Nanchang has become a river like a jade boat with a clear stream, riverside grass, and weeping willows. The river connects the eight lakes and two rivers in the city like a crystal-like necklace around Nanchang. The Tianxiang Park, a kingdom of migratory birds in the urban area, is a world-famous wonder. About a hundred rare birds dwell here and share the sweet smell of the homeland. The first-class air and water are the precious gifts of the people here to share with all distinguished guests. The Chushui Square facing the Tengwang Pavilion across the Gan River gathers together tour, purchase and sightseeing with a fountain belt as her theme. The fountain belt is the biggest in Asia. Her main fountain is 128 meters high. Snuggling up to the surging Gan River, the magnificent Chu Shui Square inherits Jiangxi's historical civilization. What an evening view of Nanchang, romance, paradise, whatever you can imagine.
Interview 2. Excuse me, sir. I'm a student of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, and I'm carrying our survey. May I ask you a few questions about your views on what makes a world class city? Sure. Would you say Hong Kong is a world class city? Well, you could say so, though not a perfect one.、Mm, could you explain what you mean? Well, although Hong Kong is a very small place, its infrastructure is modern and efficient. It seems to have a transparent, responsible, as well as responsive government. It also has an uncorrupted civil service. I think Hong Kong people should be proud of their legal system too. Everyone is equal before the law. How about the quality of life?、Um, I think it's acceptable, except for pollution. It's getting worse, I'm afraid. Some say that a citizen's contribution to a place is very important. What are your views on Hong Kong people?、Um, in general, most of them are nice, friendly, and hardworking. Some are opportunists, of course. However, what I'm worrying about is the lack of global outlook among its people. It won't be long before it loses its competitive edge if the situation doesn't improve. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with us your views.